Well, this is a French military base on the border to Italy. It's big, man. Huh? Immense. I'm hitchhiking here on a petrol station. It's about here, you know, on the hill here, next to a place called uh, uh, Verney. You can see that here, Verney. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, Verney. Uh, where the airplane crashed, and it's uh, forbidden to go in, but I think it's only for the cars, what it says here. Uh, here you can see ISIS. La Mariam on a throne with a crown, you know. And uh, well, this is the place where the airplane crashed in 2015 with all the Germans and all the lies around it, the whole thing. You know. So there's a big gate here. Uh, forbidden to go in. It's on the uh, Col de Mario. So I have to do another 2Ks going up here. So let's go then. So they made they dug a uh, special road like going up here and I suppose it, uh, the airplane slammed into the wall here. And it says only one kilometer left here. And uh, you know, I've got 30 k's on my back, or 30 kilos on my back. So this is probably the hill. I think it was not, I think it is this hill. And not the other one I I just showed. The other one is behind here. The thing is, you know what I learned? If you want to get at the top, or if you want to pass selection, you don't stop. If you stop one minute, you don't get on your feet again. Because the energy stagnates. And uh, your brain won't follow anymore. If the energy stagnates, if the blood flow stagnates in your legs, in your, your heart, then your mind won't follow. You just go on. That's why I got a bottle oh yeah, on my backpack so I can go on. I can stop for 15 seconds to drink. A plastic tube is horrible, you have plastic taste. You know, just have a little bag up front with a there's a metal bottle here. So I only drink 10 seconds. I go on. You want to pass selection? You just go on. There. That's the way it is, eh? Oh, there it is, I think. The thing is, if you, even if you stop for half an hour, you'll never recuperate. Never. Not the fluid. Not your muscle tissue, the toners. You just get out of the rhythm and you're off. You need a day to recuperate even more. You just go on. You just go over the limit, over the reserve. And you don't stop. That's the way to do it. This is the thing you have to know. Okie dokie. Oh, you see, I'm all, I'm all wet. The whole bag is wet. You never, you probably never saw a Bergen used like this here. You know, it's all used here. Yeah, and here, it's impossible to use a Bergen like this. You know. Yeah. So, I, I came from there on top of the hill, called the Mario. And they all dug a road here. Must have been terrible to get here. To I mean, this takes time. You know, they had to do it in a few days. Frenchies did it. You know. Uh, all the way down here and then up again and this is the area, this is the exact place uh, where the airplane uh, crashed in 2015. I wanted to go here before but as you know I got arrested by the Swiss Nazi police and the fascist Octagon government. So here you can see the yellow, uh, where is it? Um, yeah. mm. um. uh, 
There it is. In the yellow pole there. That's where it crashed on the whole hill here. It would have been terrible. I mean, uh, to find all those body parts and uh, th this is difficult terrain. Eh? Uh, yeah. So where the yellow pole is, that's where it crashed. Uh, there's a memorial on the, on the camping site below. So I'm going there after. Um, I have a bad feeling going there. I don't know why. I have a feeling I know somebody. <sighs> I hope this is not a castle. So I climbed the whole way up and then down here in one row. As I told you, if you lose the rhythm, you know, then the, uh, your heart stops pumping and uh, you're, you're, you're sort of brain dead, you know. So you, you have to keep on pumping. You, you may slow down, but you, you must keep on pumping in your head. Because it's, it's, it's not about strength in your legs, it's about the strength in your head. The muscles in your head, that's what it's all about, you know, like perseverance. And if you stop, if your legs stop pumping, and it stops pumping in your, in your head, then you go and sit down and you stay down, you know. Your legs won't, won't follow the orders anymore, so you may not stop. Not for a minute, because you will never recuperate in an hour or two hours, you need days to re recuperate. So it's no use to stop. You have to go on. That that's the trick, basically. You know, if you want to pass selection or go up a hill. So I did it in the summer. In the south of France, this is the south of France. It's the uh, Les Hautes Alpes de Provence. Um, during the day, so pretty hot. Lose, you lose a lot of. Uh, Water. So you see, there's still snow here. Up here, there's still some snow. So when the airplane crashed, it must have been. Uh, yeah, there was snow. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well. I feel sorry for all those dead children. Majestic, isn't it? So I'm going all the way down now for you for this to have a look at this site. 
for those who think it never happened. I was at the site in next to Strasbourg where the airplane and also A320 went down and I found some pieces of aluminium. But you really think they did all this, you know? <laughs> like dig a, a road into the mountains, you know, and just for nothing, for, for no accident, come on. So I'm going to the site then for you. So I'm down here where the site is. You see, there's all sort of stuff, you know, I don't know what it smells. It's all coming out of the mountain here. You usually never see this. So this is where the accident was. So it, it's like coming through the mountain. I, I don't know. Can't be blood, really. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look oily. Access prohibited. Zutritt verboten. Yeah. I mean, I I could easily go on, but uh, I've seen enough dead bodies in my life. There won't be anything left. So I just go. I would just have some problems. It's okay. So this is where it crashed. This is the nearest I want to go. Yeah. Anka, du fehlst uns. We miss you, Anka. Anka, Christina. Yeah. Uh, I can't see the uh, the screen, so. And uh, here's some more. Jula, old Germans. Fabio, du fehlst uns sehr. And. Uh, a lot of young girls, Alina and Halli, uh, Germans. Sad. Vous qui êtes juste de l'autre côté, sachez que vous resterez pour toujours dans nos cœurs. Attendez-nous. Un jour, nous pourrons nous revoir pour un bonheur sans fin auprès de Dieu. Pour tous les anges partis trop tôt là-haut. Parents d'Elena. So, like, um, you're all our little angels and we meet again one day after this is all over. Sign of the devil. Yeah, so, so this is terminal. Yeah. Forever. Manchmal bin in unserer Träume oft in unsere Gedanken, immer in unserer Mitte für ewig, in unseren Herzen. Liebe Gina, some Tibetan stuff. So this is where it happened. I hear a car coming. They know I'm here. Can you hear the? That's oh, an airplane. Yeah, so terrible. That's a police heli. Look there, looking at me. Ah, uh, the other guys I just met, they gave it through. Now they're looking at me. Hello guys. <laughs> I can't see them at the screen, it's so much light. You know. Well, I'm not going any further anyway. It's really being, it's being controlled, the area. That's a police alley, police chopper. Yeah, so. The most impressive, you know, so far what I've seen is the whole way, you know, that they they plowed their way through the forest in the mountains. Very impressive. They need some real engineering to do this. And even to let the water pass underneath. And, yeah. See, there's a yellow pole again. And... Uh, so... Uh, Uh, there was the road going uh, to the uh, to the gate, yeah. and the pole is uh, was it uh, somewhere? Here. So I was really near. Yeah, it's a pole. But uh, I tell you, um, I prefer I prefer making my my filming the uh, the shadows and the uh, the secret symbols. This is the last time I do this. I, I don't like filming these sort of things. I tell you. Uh, 
I don't really see the use of it anyway. Well, there's people who don't believe it. You know, that's well, look look at the dirt. Well, this this is it's a lot of work. So uh, it's the last time I do this. Uh, I like filming the castles and you know the hidden things and you know, I don't do this anymore. So I crashed here in a cabin uh, for hikers. Uh, quite clean, new. Uh, and I talked to some uh, locals here yesterday. So I'm here on the Col de Mario, and they said the road for the uh, for the air for the air crash it was um, it was plowed into the mountain in three days. It's incredible, you know. I said before it looked very different here you know, when I came here with our kids and <clears throat> so just behind the trees here is the uh, the site where the uh, um, where the airplane crashed it's just behind here in the, in the valley behind it here so here it says um, Col de Mario I think Chemin de l'Institut I don't know what Strange. So it's just behind me, and I came from that road there where. I, uh, so I slept black practically on the crash site. That was weird. In the middle of the night, somebody came here and slept here, like here. And in the middle of the night, he went away again. Very weird. I, I don't even know what really happened. Very weird. Speaking French. Guy with glasses. Extremely weird. So I'm gonna walk down into the valley again. So if you think of it, you know, in, in the hole there behind the mountains, the airplane crashed down there. So if you look at it, you know, it, it must have, it didn't like flew normally or, you know, uh, horizontally and then hit a mountain. No, it, it dove. It must have been diving in here like uh, uh, 45 degrees at least. You see this? It must have been diving 45 degrees from the air. So, you know, the people must have known what was, something bad was going to happen. Uh, so there must have been something wrong with the airplane or something. It's not a, it's not a pilot's error. You see, it's a, it's, it's a hole here behind here. It's, it's a, can't even, I can't even say it's a valley. This here, behind here, oh, the man, it's, it's going down, straight down here. So the airplane went down like, everybody's thinking like, this is in the mountains, I hit a mountain top, no. Dove down, well, at least 45 degrees down, if not 90 degrees. So it, it's it's an airplane failure to me. Absolutely, and I always say, well, it's it's a human failure because uh, the pharaohs, you know, their their sacred technique and, and you know and science, they don't blame it. No. Otherwise, nobody will take an airplane anymore. So it dove down. Absolutely. Like from here. So, here's some signs on it, or some letters, some numbers here. So, 2008. Yeah. And some people passed here, 2014. So the cabin was here before. So imagine, maybe somebody was sleeping here. And then uh, the airplane crashed down here. Bang! Yeah. So then again, you know, it, it didn't... It didn't take the hill, you know. So in order to avoid the hill, it, it dove down. And to take down this hill, it dove down. Almost straight down. Into the into the valley here, where the, so the road was, you know, going down here into the valley. Absolutely dove down. 
Uh, so yesterday I had dinner here with some locals who uh, were here with their children from the village down here. Uh, Vernet, I think. They were camping out here with their kids, with uh, five kids. And I asked them, did they hear, did anybody in the village, did they hear, hear the bang of the airplane? Nobody heard it. Only at a certain moment somebody saw smoke coming up. Um, but when they came to the site there was no more smoke. And, yeah, so nobody heard the bang. But they, um, they went and have a, have a look there, the locals. So um, If it wouldn't have happened, you know, and the guy I talked to here, and, and, well, he would have said uh, there was nothing. But the locals went and have a look. And, uh, yeah, they must have been here before the uh, all the authorities were here. I wonder what that is. But anyway, here's the side of the crash here behind the mountains where the yellow pole was, and uh, the all hills around it. So it's like in a in a hole here. Uh, as you can see, it didn't top one of these mountains, you know. And this is where I slept. This was the uh, the cabin um, uh, down there. I slept like practically on the crash site. And uh, so I just think. To the memory of all the people died with some pictures and all the kiddies. Oh. Some names here. Terrible. Oh. Terrible. In memory of the victims of disaster on March 24th, 2015. Toys. Yeah, so uh, there it was. It was uh, over, over that hill here and then between the big mountain uh, behind. The big mountain behind it, that's where it uh, slammed into it. And, uh, the mountain before is the one I, I climbed up. I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I think I can see that path there. Well, maybe it was the other one. But uh, no, I don't. Th I think it was that one. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is this lawn here, which I showed. In the, uh, it's a camping place here. That's what I showed in the media. Well, I'll never do these sort of videos again. I don't like it. I do my secret stuff, I film the castles, the pharaohs, uh, that's it. In France here, next to digne le bain the cemetery looks quite okay, except this corner here. So there's a, uh, oh, there's a big obelisk, a pyramid, an ob obelisk next to it. There is a, uh, a Templar's cross on it. It's quite okay, except this area here. I even got a capstone on the... I don't know what it is on top of it. Uh, I don't want to go there. It's always the same anyway. Pharaohs. Yeah, back in France, sleeping rough here, in between the... Um, uh, apple trees, they're all wrapped in, in plastic. I don't think the, uh, I'm not sure if it was meant to be like this, you know. I'm not sure if the tree is very happy. But, on the other hand, Monsanto won't be happy either, that the farmer found a way to protect his fruit without using Monsanto. So maybe it's not that bad at all, after all village here, you know, like built into the rock here. So, France. Ok, 
Can you imagine the work to put it all over? Or maybe they just do it once and just leave it like this. And I don't know, but it's a hell of a lot of work. I mean, I have to put up my tent every night. It's already a lot of work. I don't put all this on it. You know? So, apple trees. They never leave the plastic until you eat them. Oh, from beginning to end. But um, Monsanto won't like it. So the birds don't eat them, yeah? And then it's all automatic water supply. I hope this is no poison. Yeah. Uh, I, I was a bit worried it was going to, uh, I was going to get wet like in the night here. It's also water. Um, all automatic, I suppose. Getting water from here, a water, a water pipe. Interesting. Hey! <laughs> So some French is here, they took me hitchhiking into the uh they jumped into a hole here. Nice river here. Right, was it?